Hi there guys, we're back with the HTML video and we are going to be dealing with text color. Um, for this matter, we're going to be editing the entire body, um, its text to a specific color. So already you see in front of you a nice HTML structure in which we have a head and the entire body. And then obviously inside one of the bodies, we or inside the main body, we have two paragraphs. And then we got the actual closing off or the end tags for body and HTML. Okay, so we have we have the one paragraph and then we have the second paragraph with all of our necessary formatting. Okay. You might notice that my header one, which is the biggest header, within the actual tag, I have included a line center. I also have a horizontal rule with a red color and um, what I've also done over here is I've added a color cyan to my horizontal rule um, under the italics uh, area. Okay, we've given it a width of 150, so that's just 150 of your units and um, we have stipulated the difference between the horizontal rule width using the percentage as well. We've also nested our bold and italic and you can see that the reversal is displayed on the end and we've also added text color. I'm going to edit that because you'll note that certain elements um, or certain attributes don't apply to certain uh, tags or, or elements. Okay, in this case over here to the body we've already given it a background color which is lime and we are going to go ahead and add a text color with blue okay so remember here we're just going to be adding text equals and the actual attribute value just like we have over here we've got the background color the name and then the lime as the value okay let's save this and let's go see how what it would look like when it is displayed as a web page. I'd have to go and change the extension to .html. And when it actually loads, you'll see the necessary formatting take effect. We will have a yellow background, or sorry, an alarm background. And the actual text over here we can see as blue. This uh, horizontal rule we had as light blue or as cyan for, for that matter. And it was only 150 units. Whereas the horizontal rule below that was, I think it was about 50% uh, of our page's width. Okay, you'll see that I've also got a horizontal rule here that is red. Okay. We have a heading number four, we have italics, and we have bold and italics. Remember that nested area that we are talking about? Okay, so let's go ahead and I'd like to show you guys one little area in the text that you can leave notes into. It's a little tag uh, called an exclamation mark. I'm going to put it, uh, let's say, over here about. So remember, when you put text into a body area or in a paragraph, it, it necessarily it'll it'll display. So what I'd like to do here is I'd like to go and put an exclamation mark and make a note. This is a note for this paragraph. Okay, and remember that you would have to go and close this. Okay, so there it is there. That is its own tag, right? So you have the little opening bracket and a closing bracket for it itself. That is a little note. Now remember, if you do not have these, this whole e this whole line over here will be displayed as text on your actual web page. So let's go see whether this actually does get displayed as text or whether it will not be displayed. Because if I have this web page and someone else takes over the web page, I'd have to have little bits of notes for them 
so that they can know exactly what was going on, what was the thought process behind, why I did what I did as a coding or from a coding perspective. Um, so I can actually leave the next person who's going to be editing this web page a little bit of a note using this tag over here. So let's go have a look at the web page. All right, you'll note that I cannot see that text. All right, I had it underneath, I think, the second paragraph or the first paragraph. Either it is not displayed. All right, so when I go back to my text document, you'll note that I have a little bit of a note over here just telling the next guy what my thought process was behind my design. Okay, guys, I hope this has helped you guys with your understanding in HTML, and we will be looking at um, more HTML formats in our next video. Thank you for watching.